guys, this is Haley from OneOwnRabbits.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 rabbit products I cannot live without. So the first product I'm going to be showing you is the Furminator and I have mentioned this in probably every single one of my grooming videos and it's honestly my most favorite brush ever. Everyone always asks me what it's called. It works amazing. Honestly, this brush works probably better than any other brush I have. I still like having a variety of brushes because they all work differently, but this one always works. So anyways, next product. So the next thing I really, really like are frozen. These are not frozen. <laughs> ah! So the next thing I love is any type of freeze dried fruit or dried fruit. So these are uh, dried fruit, I believe, and the only ingredient it has is organic apples, which if you are feeding any type of dried fruit, you want to make sure there are no other ingredients in it and that it's just 100% fruit. So this is the brand I have here, but I've gotten a variety of brands in the past. This bag is humongous. I got it from Costco. Um, but yeah, you can find them basically anywhere. So they're technically for humans, but rabbits can eat them too. My dad was actually just eating them like five seconds ago. So, you know, share them with your rabbits. So the next thing I really, really like are any type of grass mats. So right here, I just have two different varieties. <laughs> I don't know how to hold them up. They're like not fitting in the screen, but these are just two different varieties. This is a flat seagrass mat, which is super great. I love these ones. Um, but this is also made out of seagrass, but it's a double weave seagrass. So as you can tell, it's a lot thicker than like <laughs> this one. I don't know how to show you guys. So I actually sell these on my online store, 101rabbits.com. Link is in the i card and the description down below and at the end of the video. But I love these things like crazy, not because I like them necessarily, but my rabbits absolutely love them. So this one I really like because it's so thick and has all of this weave in it that it's really great for rabbits who like to dig up carpet or dig up like blankets and stuff and likes to chew and rip apart things. That is definitely something Sterling like loves to do and Ebony. Um, Lulu's kind of older, so like she doesn't really care about that stuff, but Sterling was a massive carpet destroyer. So these are super great to like put on top of carpet if your rabbit is chewing in a specific area, or this is just good to provide so that they have a safer alternative to use versus the carpet so it can deter them from chewing things they're not supposed to. So that's the reason I like this one, but this one I actually really like it for underneath my rabbit's hidey houses because it's so flat and so smooth, they aren't as apt to like destroy it as quickly as something like this, but it provides a really smooth surface. So it's great for rabbits who have sore hocks, which if you guys have watched my previous videos, some of my rabbits have struggled with sore hocks just because of their body conformation or their genetics or things like that. So this is really great because it's an alternative to fleece or blankets because a lot of rabbits have issues chewing or digging up uh, fleece and stuff, including my rabbits. My rabbits have a really bad habit of chewing fleece underneath their hidey houses. I don't know why, like if the fleece isn't under their hidey house, they don't dig it up or eat it. But like if it's in their hidey house, they go crazy. So I've been placing these uh, flat seagrass mats underneath their hidey houses and my rabbit, it stopped them from like, you know, destroying the fleece or whatever. I just place them right on top of the fleece. I have memory foam mats underneath. Are you okay? Oh, I have memory foam mats underneath. So it's so great for like rabbits with sore hocks who can't use fleece or stuff like that. So yeah, that's why I like them both. Um, they're definitely different options. I also have different sizes available. If you guys are curious, this is the size large in the seagrass mat, but I also have a larger size than this and a smaller size. And then for the other one, I also have a smaller size available. So you can like pick what fits best for your rabbit's area. So this product is going to be very hard to show because it's huge. Um, but I'm going to try. <laughs> All right. This is what I am trying to show. This is my rabbit's litter box. Kind of gross. It's used, so it is not clean. I mean, I cleaned it like 
think it was clean like yesterday, so it's not like super dirty, but yeah, this is their litter box. It is by, um, okay, let me turn this around. <sighs> so if you can read that, it's by the brand Hefty and it's just a storage container that you can buy at Walmart and it's by the brand Hefty. You literally can use any brand. Um, but I'll tell you the dimensions of it if you guys are, <laughs> just hit the camera. Okay. So I will tell you the dimensions of it if you guys are like curious on what size I chose. So the size is 36 inches long by 16 and a half inches wide. And then it's 7.8 inches tall. So that's the dimensions. It's pretty big. So this is probably a good litter box if you have more than two bunnies um, because a lot of rabbits could fit in here. Probably like three or four rabbits could fit in here at one time. I personally only have two bunnies, but I like having bigger litter boxes. It helps a lot with litter training for my rabbits personally. Um, they like to have their own space and um, I don't know. I just think they're perfect. So definitely pick one of these up. I think they were like $15 ish. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say about the litter boxes, but highly, highly recommend. I used to use large cat size litter boxes and I used to really love them, but now I can't even imagine using that small of a litter box. I just, the next product I absolutely love are these striped Ikea rugs. You guys would have seen these in my room tours that I've been posting the past couple months, <laughs> but I have a ton of these. I think I have about six of these rugs and um, I don't need to use all of them at once. So it's nice to have extras to throw in the washer if they get peed on or something. But honestly, you don't have to wash them if they don't get peed on, uh, which is super nice. You can just vacuum them off and they're good to go, but they are machine washable if they get peed on. So it's really, really great. I love these. Um, they're probably not the best option if your rabbit has sore hocks. Um, they are a little bit more rough, I would say, not something more smooth um, like the grass mat I showed, but my rabbits don't really suffer. The rabbits who use these, um, Ebony and Sterling, they don't really have sore hocks. Yeah, these rugs are super great for young healthy bunnies and super easy to wash. I love the color, so highly recommend. Uh, Ikea also sells some smaller rugs that I also show in my room tours. I like those too, but they're very thin and they don't stay in place very well. Like they literally get like pushed up all funny. Um, so I prefer the big ones personally, um, but they are harder to wash. You have to only wash one rug at a time. Otherwise your washing machine sounds like it's going to die. So <laughs> yeah. So one of my next favorite products is anything Willow. So I think I've struggled for years finding toys my rabbits actually will use. A lot of the pet store toys my rabbits ignore. They don't use them at all. Um, they kind of use like the plastic baby cups. They'll throw them around a little bit or the baby chains, but there was nothing really that tapped into that natural instinct of chewing and digging and destroying. So I would say I really, really love anything Willow. So I've actually started selling a lot of Willow products on my online shop. Again, links are everywhere. So I just thought I'd show you a couple of my favorites. So this is a mini Willow ring. Um, these are pretty popular, but they are smaller. So your rabbit is probably gonna destroy it faster. Um, so this is, whoop, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. It's pretty small. But then I also have large willow rings. Uh, they're made out of a larger and thicker like willow stick. So it is a different material. So it kind of depends like if your rabbit prefers the smaller sticks or the larger ones. Uh, these are probably for like heavy, heavy chewers. Um, and then my rabbits love these willow balls. These are the mini willow balls and I have these available. Rabbits go crazy for these. They literally destroy them. Uh, and then another one is the Willow Cube. This one is, one of the sticks is falling off. There we go. So the rabbits love this Willow Cube. Um, and then another thing, I also have these Willow Baskets. If I can get it out. These are the Willow Baskets. This is the large size. I also have a small size that's over there and I'm too lazy to go get it, but yeah. 
I love these because you can put hay in them and your rabbits can eat out of them with the hay, but they can also eat the basket and destroy it. So these are a bunch of fun. Um, these Willow toys are amazing. I like them a lot better than like the store-bought Willow toys, like the ones from like Petco and PetSmart, um, because for some reason, I don't know if the Willow is like a different type of Willow tree or like it's, I don't know. My rabbits just don't like the Willow as well from pet stores. So I really, really like these. So if you guys are interested in Willow toys, can go ahead and check them out on my store. But those are another one of my favorite products. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So I apologize if the camera is moved. I just kicked it on accident. <laughs> wow, failing at life. All right, come on. So the next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys are Heidi houses. These are a couple of my favorites. Rabbits are prey animals, and so they need places to hide, places that they feel secure, places that kind of mimic burrows in the wild. So I have uh, two different options I'm gonna be showing you here that are my favorite, but I've used a variety of hidey houses in the past. So this first one is a Willow teepee. So it kind of goes along with like Willow products, but um, it's made out of this thicker willow. So like the rabbits do chew it. Obviously there's chew marks in here, but it takes them a long time to actually like destroy it, which is super nice. Like I've had this for months now and it's only chewed a tiny little bit. So they tend to last about six months or, or maybe a year, depending on um, the rabbit. So this is my favorite. My rabbits sleep in it every single day. I have this and then a grass mat underneath it. I'll insert a picture. Sterling and Ebony just love it so much. Lulu also has one of these with a bed inside and she loves that. So anyways, this is one of my favorite hidey houses. I did sell these on my online store. Um, however, I did stop selling them because they are pretty expensive to ship and I can't ship them internationally because of the size of them. It just, they don't allow that big of products to be shipped by small companies out of the country. So I don't know if you guys are curious on me still selling these, I definitely will, but just know that shipping is a little bit more expensive because of how large they are. Um, it's just really hard to ship large things. The next Heidi house I have is a DIY Heidi house that I've had for years. So you guys probably have seen it if you have been watching my videos for a while. Sorry, I'm struggling. Uh, but this is my NIC grid Heidi house that you guys can't really see. I'm gonna take the blanket off it. Um, again, this is another one of my favorites. It's not included in my top 10, but these blankets are from Ikea. I don't know what they're made out of, maybe cotton, uh, but they're actually super soft and I love the color. It matches the Ikea rugs I showed you guys. So if you're looking for a good blanket, they're $20 at Ikea. So thought I would mention that. So this is their Heidi house. If I can show you, man, this is an awful angle. So on this doorway, I have a half a grid. So these are NIC grids. You can buy them on Amazon. Just type in Whitmore cubes and they should pop up. Just make sure you're using the small grid ones um, because some rabbits can get their head stuck in the ones that have larger holes. So just be sure they're only about an inch big. Anyways, so we cut a grid in half and we made a half an, um, half door opening on this side and then I'm hanging a baby chain and then like these wicker little ring things <laughs> from it. And then the other entrance, make sure your hidey houses always have more than one entrance. Like I've mentioned many times, rabbits need an escape route or they won't use their hidey house. Uh, so this side has a whole grid open and it has some baby chains on it. So it is, the dimensions are one grid by two grids. You guys can see one grid by two grids. Um, and yeah, it's really easy to make. Just zip tie them together and put a blanket on top. Literally been using it for years. Next product. <laughs> okay. I have no idea how I'm gonna show this next product. Okay, let's figure this out. Oh man. Ah! <laughs> There's that. We're gonna need to tilt this down. Okay, so this is a really bad angle, but my next favorite product are my hay boxes. So my dad made my hay boxes all by himself, so they aren't for sale anywhere. Everyone always asks me where I buy them. 
Um, but here, let me see <laughs> if I can show you. I have my little logo on top, which is super cute. Uh, this is actually one I've never used before. I used it um, as a display once, but I've never actually used it for my rabbits. But it has mesh on the bottom so that any little hay can fall down to the floor instead of getting in your rabbit's mouth or face um, because Okay, I'm gonna continue talking without holding a ginormous hay box in my hand. Um, but basically, you can't buy them anywhere because my dad made them. But we want, we wish we could sell them on our online shop because so many people always ask me, where do you get your hay boxes? I will pay you to send me a hay box. But um, they're very, very, very heavy. So it would cost a lot of money to ship them. So it would end up being like a lot of money. So kind of stinks that we can't do that. Also, we can't ship internationally because of how big it is. But hopefully someday we can figure out a way to make these for you guys because I think you guys would love them. I love them. Um, if you're wondering on the dimensions, um, I will get a tape measure. Got it. 23 and a half inches wide by 11 inches deep. So, what? 11 inches this way by 23 and a half inches this way. So yeah, and it's, um, how tall is it? 20, almost 23 inches tall. So yeah, that's how big my hay box is. <laughs> All right, next product. What is wrong with me? Okay, bye-bye. All right, so the next products that I absolutely love is Another product that I actually sell on my store, so if you guys like it, you guys could pick one up. So these are called fruit flavored balsa flings. Um, there's many different flavors. I've got four different flavors here, but I actually sell five different flavors. I'm just sold out of the carrot flavor currently. Um, so this one is called the Island Fling, and it is uh, peach, pineapple, pear, pineapple and papaya so that's really cool it's on like this sisal string so it's completely safe for bunnies and then it's made out of balsa wood that's been soaked in uh fruit juice 100 fruit juice no dyes no sugars no nothing so it's 100 safe that's why i really like them because if you guys know me i'm so picky with rabbit toys i do not allow my rabbits to have anything that's not natural um, I'm kind of a freak like that, so I don't allow any dyes or anything like that for my bunnies. So I love this because it's completely natural, but it's super, super fun for bunnies. If you guys go to my shop Instagram, 101rabbits.shop, you will see a ton of photos of my rabbits using these balsa toys. My rabbits are so obsessed. Like they are so obsessed that if I try to take the toy away, they like get so mad. So anyways. Um, I got the Island Fling and then the Berry Balsa Fling. This one is the Fruity Balsa Fling. It's kind of cool. It has like purpley in it. And all the colors come from the fruit juice. It's not artificial or anything. It's 100% just fruit juice. And then we have a Tropical Fruit Fling. Um, and then we also have these cool little blocks. So um, they're just little fruit blocks. So instead of like being tied to a string, you can just give like one little block at a time or you, whatever. So. These are super cool. This is the five pack. This is the 10 pack. Absolutely obsessed with these. I honestly would not promote them if I didn't love them. I've just never seen my rabbits get so excited for something in so many years that now that I've found these products, I'm just like so excited. So if you guys want to check them out. They are on my shop. Links everywhere. All right, last product. Don't know how this is gonna go. All right, I'm literally surrounded by rabbit products right now and I can barely fit. <laughs> okay, so this next product I have mentioned before probably a hundred times, but it is my shop vac. Now, I don't know if I can get the whole thing up in the view, but we're gonna try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So this is my baby. I love this thing. If you guys have ever struggled with hay getting clogged in the vacuum and nothing can get sucked up, nothing is working, 
you need a shot vac. But do not get any old shot vac. Make sure it has the right conditions, otherwise you're still gonna get hay stuck in it. So, this is actually made by the shot vac brand. I believe there's other shot vac companies like off brands that you could use that probably work just as well. Just make sure that it is big enough. So mine is, um, does it say how big it is? Warning, to avoid electrical shock, do not expose to rain. Oh, maybe it's back here. Replacement filters, it's not what I wanted. So I don't know how big it is. I will try to look it up and put it on the screen, but it has a 5.5 peak HP, which I think is like the motor or like the sucking power. Um, but the major thing you need is a big barrel and a big tube. So the issue is, is if you get the wrong size shot back, the hose, this part, is not going to be big enough and your hay is going to get stuck and clogged just like with any other vacuum. So you need to make sure you get... So you need to make sure you get a big enough hose and this one is the... I forgot the dimensions, but I'm going to measure it. Yeah, it's the two inch hose. So that means like across here is two inches. I can show you. <laughs> it's two inches, believe me. Okay, so make sure it is two inches or it will not suck. So basically, I can have a giant pile of hay. I mean, I probably wouldn't recommend this, but <laughs> you can have a giant pile of hay, literally stick the tube and it will suck up the entire thing. I've heard of people who were like too lazy to clean out their litter box. So they literally just sucked it all up with their shot back. I mean, I think it's easier to kind of just like throw it in a bag or like throw it in the trash. But if you're really lazy, the shot back will do it. Literally this thing will suck up anything. Um, the only time I've ever had a clog is when I've sucked up a big piece of like willow. So like a big willow stick and it was all like different shapes and it like went in there and clogged. Um, and that was the only time and it was in the long part. So there's an attachment to this that um, it, it's like a straight long piece. And that's the part that got clogged from the willow stick. But other than the willow stick, I don't have any issues. Um, so yeah, I love this thing. It's kind of weird. Let's put it away. All right. All right, so that's basically it for today's video. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm kind of in a weird mood. I haven't shot a video in like two weeks, kind of out of the groove. So I'm gonna end this video so I don't look any more weird than I already am. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. There's literally products everywhere. So yeah, I should end the video. So that's basically it for today's video. Don't forget to check out my online shop linked in the iCard in the description or at the end of the video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your guys' favorite rabbit products so that we can all learn about cool new products we should try out. I will try to link my best to like link each product down in the description. I just don't know if like the litter box, like the tote is actually gonna be online because it's so big. Um, but if I can find it, I'll try to link it. <laughs> but basically you can use like any tote, so. What's wrong with that? So that's basically it for today's video. I will see you guys very soon on a new one. Bye. So if any of you guys are curious on what it looks like behind the scenes, this is <laughs> the mess of everything. So yeah, this is gonna be fun to clean up. Clara, you can't eat chicken, you don't have teeth. Milo, stop eating rabbit litter. Milo. Hey, uh, 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 out of the litter box. Okay. <laughs> ah, sorry. Why am I apologizing to a camera? Okay. I don't really remember. Shadow, stop eating Milo's food. Hey, Shadow. No. Shadow. Shadow, hey. Ah, 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 ah. Get. Get. Milo, did you find a little toy? Little hideout. So the next thing I want to show you, Clara, Milo, go get your food back. Clara, why are my cats crazy? Why do I keep turning around? Man, yeah. okay. So, <laughs> there is rabbit hair flying everywhere. So, why am I so weird? 
I don't know if it was like 25 pounds or Clara. Clara, stop running on the cat wheel. 